Hey, we're adding text things, and I recently found this bug. I've spent three hours or so over the last week just coming up with different hotfixes for this bug. Let me show you the actual fix. <sighs> hey guys, oh god I'm so hungry. As you can see, I've added a little sword. That's in the game at the moment. Oh hey, I think George is back. Hey George! Not Freddy? Hey Freddy! Oh yeah, I moved place if I haven't said that before in video. Anyway, we've created some cheeky little animations for attacking. There we go, that's attack one. That's attack two. And we've put some code together so it should hook up together nicely. It, it does it doesn't, it doesn't do that. It doesn't, it doesn't do that. It doesn't do that, Freddy. Back! So good news, I fixed the uh, animation system. So it works proper now and it's all controlled through code rather than Unity's animator. Because it's just like an easier and all in one place and I can edit the values all at the same time even. Alright. <clears throat> the important part. Attacks. Now work. You can attack on the spot or you can move and attack. Except it looks and feels like gash. So I'm going to go play games like Shovel Knight and Bleed and uh, games that feel really good and see what makes them tick and steal some ideas and get some inspiration, shit like that. So I was using this to figure out how people move when they swing a sword to help the animations when that happened. <sighs> Making games is hard and expensive and really messy. There should be less echo now. I've create my own little recording booth. We are gonna bring together all of the elements we've made so far and have a nice complete character soon. Uh, a nice complete player that can move around and take all the actions they need to take. Which means the next thing I gotta do is finish off the action system. This is the old action menu. It's a little limiting and I'm gonna have two. I'll show you what I mean later. But first thing we've gotta do is update our tech system, which I have done. It's, it can all be played around with in editor. The idea is I can type in any text I want and it'll just show up. I can also give it any uh, font I want and it'll just agree. And it all it's all editable. It's, it's a tech system. But the key thing is it, all, it uses sprites so I can do anything I want to the image, as you can see. Mm, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna, this, I mean, in retrospect, this, it's not actually that video worthy. Damn, I put a lot of time into making this good. Oh well, all you gotta know is that I'm gonna put this into the action system and we're gonna run some tests on the, I don't wanna say final, but next phase of the character. And then we'll probably start building some game around the character. This is the action wheel at the moment. It lets you do things such as saying hello, yes, or saying hello. Um, what it also lets you do is draw your weapon and your little guy gets angry and scary. The weapon uh, attack has a nice trail renderer which I stole from uh, my previous project Darklight Cascade. And when I say things it'll nicely like blend between the animations correctly. The problem is this is two separate menus which is clunky and if, uh, if I'm holding right on the analog stick when I say no I immediately start moving right when I get out of that animation. Or if I start, uh, worse, if I'm holding down and I shout because I'm holding down, which is crouch, I go tiny and adorable, which kind of kills the effect. So, we're going to try a new system of input for this, uh, which a friend suggested to me just after testing. Oh, yeah, and this is uh, one more little fun bug. Uh, if I jump, I crouch ever so slightly when I hit the ground. So if I jump and then try and emote, I stay crouched when I hit the ground. Whoops. Hey. Okay. Update. Um, we changed the input menu. Whoop, there we go. The text is a little smaller and uh, it's now octagonal instead. 
there are eight selections to be made. So it's all on one screen and it's all done with one input rather than like combining a bunch of them, which is nice. It is getting a bit noisy. I don't like that. So we're going to replace hello, shout, yes and no, and maybe draw with a symbol, which will become text when you hover over it, and that should make it nice and clean and lovely. But for this video, I think that's done. We got emotions in, we got new input, and we got sword animations and swings and lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs>